Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to run initial migrations. Now, to understand migrations, first we need to understand Django models. So, Django models are Python classes. Uh, what I would like to request from you is to pay very, very, very close attention to the next couple of minutes that I'm going to talk about the theory behind Django models, Django migrations, and why they're important so you're not confused throughout this process. I would Again, I would like to ask you to pay very, very close attention because they're very intertwined. They're very entangled together. So uh, to understand what migrations are, to understand what this red uh, message says to us, we need to understand what Django models are. So I'm just going to close that uh, and I'm going to keep it like this. So first, Django models are Python classes and their job is to make our data persistent. In other word, uh, words, Django models let us store data in our database in such a way that if you stop the Django server and start the server again, the data will still be there. Now, it wouldn't make sense uh, uh, that if you log into your Facebook account and you add all kind of posts, you add all kind of videos and photos, it wouldn't make sense that when you log out, all of the data is removed from the database, right? That wouldn't make sense. Therefore, we need these kind of models that make that data persistent. What does that mean, persistent? It means that when you enter your data as a user, you post, you write a post, you, for example, upload a photo. I'm giving you this Facebook because it's so popular and it's so easy to understand what it is that I'm actually saying. And what you're actually doing is you're actually interacting with the database as a user, right? It's all abstracted away, but that's what, what, what's actually happening behind the scenes and you're changing the database. Now, if the Django model, let's say the back end of Facebook is Django, right? If Django model doesn't persist your data to the database, when you log out and then you log in, nothing will be there. So you will not have your posts, you will not have your images, you will not have your videos. And that is going to be frustrating and technically no one is going to is going to use that sort of a platform where you have to constantly re-upload the same things. So in Django, a model class is mapped to database tables. Subsequently, each object of that model can be stored in a row in the table. Now, when I say database, when I say table, when I say row, when I say column, I am assuming that you understand 100% what it is that I'm talking about because I did give you a 10-hour SQL Essentials course so you know what I'm talking about. Now, while we are working on a project, uh, we, we tend to change and update our code all the time. This is true for all of your Python code. So it is also true for our model classes. Now, what does that actually mean? It means that every time we change our model class, we will need to change the corresponding database table so that it will have the right columns to store our objects. And that change to the database structure is automated through what? Through migrations. So what do migrations actually do for us? Whenever you change any code, it means that your model classes are going to change. Model classes are related to database tables. So according to your model classes, you're going to have database tables. If I open this database, we don't have any tables. Why? Because we don't have any model classes yet. When you create model classes, model classes create database tables. They they're require row with the cons database constraints and all of that cool stuff. Then when you change your Python code, the model classes, they change. And you need to automate this process. When you change your model classes, you need to make sure that your database is in sync with your model classes. Because in one, let's say in, in any of your model classes, you might 
grab a column from your database and uh, in, inside that model class and you might remove it. You need to make sure that those changes that you have made into your model classes, they are reflected in the database as well. So let's say you have first name, last name, email address and home address. For some reason, you decide to, to remove the column home address. What you do is you don't go to the database because that part is abstracted away using our uh, model classes using Django models. We don't want to deal with SQL queries, right? We are a Python. We are Python developers, not SQL developers. So you just change the model class. You change the Python code. In, in respect, the model class is going to be changed. We are going to take a look at all of that throughout the section. Don't worry about it. I'm just preparing you for all that is going to come. So you change your Python code. Then uh, in relation to that, correspondingly, your uh, model class is going to be changed. But what about the database? Who is going to remove that column home address from the database? That is the job of migrations. Now, a migration is a Python um, script that changes the database to keep the structure of the database up to date with our model classes. Now you have this concept that is really clear to you what it is that we are trying to do and why do we have to do it. So whenever I change my model, Django will generate a migration script that will update the database table accordingly. So I don't have to do it, right? Actually, once your project becomes slightly more advanced, Django will not be able to generate everything you need and you will need to write your own migration code. But that is not something that we are going to do in this application, in this course. We are not going to do that because that is way advanced. So again, in conclusion, models are Python classes that represent your data and make it possible to save your data in a database. And migrations are scripts that help keep your database structure up to date with your model classes. Now, um, uh, in here, uh, if, I, if I just bring this down, zoom out, like to this point, I, I believe this is still readable. Let's go to our settings.py file. And this uh, settings.py file, we can see that we have some pre-installed applications these are the pre-installed applications and in the terminal we can see that it says your project may not work properly until you apply the migrations for the admin app which is this app the auth or authentication app which is this one the content types app which is this one uh, the sessions app which is this one so we don't have any migrations for the messages and the for the static files and you can see we don't have any table if i refresh it doesn't matter we don't have any table within our database so if i run the migration technically and theoretically we should have database tables for these four applications that show that our model classes the change in our model classes have been Re the changes have been reflected into our databases as well. Now, the reason that it says migration is because those changes are not being reflected into our database. You can see we don't have any data in here, but when the changes are reflected, then we will end up with some tables in here. We don't have any tables yet. So first off, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to go over this concept one more time. So each migration is a Python script that makes a change to the database corresponding to some piece of Python code in our model class. Uh, currently, for me, it's, uh, it says that I have 18 unapplied migrations. And it says that my app is not going to work without these. So I'm going to cl uh, close the server by doing Control C. And we can take a look at the migrations that the pending migrations. So let me zoom in a little bit. Um, I showed you there is nothing inside the uh, browser, uh, the database as well. So to be able to see the migrations, I'm going to say, make sure you're within this folder, meeting planner. If you're out of it, it's not going to work because we apply all of these on the manage.py file. This is the main project file. And I'm going to say show 
migrations show migrations there is no space in between so let me just zoom in a little bit more i'm gonna remove everything so i'm gonna say python manage.py show migrations show me the kind of migrations that are going to change database tables and are pending there should be 18 right so let's hit enter there we go so we know that these migrations are in the admin app authentication app content types app as well as where is the other one as well as these sessions content types and there we go these sessions so first we have the admin we have three migrations inside the admin we have 12 migrations inside the authentication that is 15 we have two migrations within the content types that's 17 and we have one migration within these sessions which is going to which is going to bring the sum total to 18. so whenever i run these migrations for those we are going to have corresponding tables in the database so how can we run uh, the uh, migrations now before that i need to tell you that each line in here that represents some change to the database and these changes they're mostly about creating and uh, creating the correct tables so how can we apply migrations we do have a command that says python manage.py migrate so i'm just going to copy that now you understand what migrations are and why do we need to uh, apply these migrations so when i say hit enter and you can see it says uh, operating operations to perform apply all migrations authentic uh, admin authentication content types and sessions running migrations okay all of them are okay until the last one so we have one migration there we have three in here we have four content types so all of the migrations are okay and if we come here and if i go into browse data and if i reload it uh, we don't see anything let's just reopen this database and there we go so i just reopened it i didn't do anything else when i reopen the database we can see that if i go to browse data we have all these data in here so these are all the tables that which command created this python managed that by migrate it created so again just to go over this idea we had we had some changes in our uh, python file which we did not provide any migrations for uh, those changes were reflected in the models and the models changes have to be migrated to our database and we ran this uh, python manage.py migrate so what it did was it grabbed our model classes and according to those model classes it applied those changes to our database and those changes inside our database can be viewed in here so we have 11 tables corresponding to those migrations we created 11 tables this is very necessary for our application to work even in this it, in here it says your project may not work well may not work properly until you apply the migrations so we applied the migrations right and now the cool thing is that uh, let me clear the terminal if i say uh, python manage dot pi keep in mind again that i'm within the planner folder meeting planner and i'm going to say run server we shouldn't see that red text that warning that we have migrations pending so let's run it and there we go now we have a clean terminal and we can go to our web page so with this our lecture comes to an end we have talked about a lot of cool stuff and you can see we are moving forward with our application i'm introducing new concepts in each lecture we don't have a lot of code so far the django is like flask there is not going to be a lot of code there are going to be more files than there are going to be more lines of code but that's something that we need to do in order for our application to work so uh, that's it for this lecture see you in the next one